Hi everyone, today we have a special guest on our channel. We have Rayan with us. So, Rayan, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. So, first of all, thank you for inviting me to this podcast. And uh, I am Rayan from Triple IT Bhagalpur, fourth year from CSC department. I've been an active competitive programmer from uh, the first year of my college. I am an expert at Code Courses and Food Star at Code Chef. I did my internship in Cognitive System in second year as an SD intern. I am pretty much inclined toward machine learning as well, where I was selected as a ML trainee in Amazon through ML Summer School. So yeah, that's all. All right, amazing. So we'll be getting to know his journey to cracking IND money. So Rayan, start us off with your interview experience. How was it? What all rounds were there? Okay, okay. So first of all, this was an off-campus opportunity. So the recruiter approached me with a phone call at first, and he screened me. Then after uh, this, they scheduled my three interview rounds. All the three were technical. So in first round, uh, the major section was only DSA. Rest was some basic oral system architecture based questions and some OS fundamentals questions. Um, the thing here is that the DSA problem was quite hard as it was missed as the problems were mostly based on your resume. Mm. Like I mentioned a lot in my resume that about competitive yeah. programming and other DSA skills. So they used to ask me a lot harder problems in DSA. <laughs> so in first round, I had a graph problem. I don't exactly remember the problem, but it was a lead code hard level problem, yeah. which around in 40 minutes, they wanted a working code. And the interviewer was very, very um, supportive. He even gave me some hints. So it was a totally smooth interview. And apart from that, yeah, some system architecture questions in first round, the round was of almost 90 minutes. So now coming to the second round, the uh, DSA problem in second round was again a lead code hard problem, yeah. <laughs> uh, which was on, which was based on binary tree and some LCA concepts. Apart from that, in second round, the second most major section that I encountered was about DBMS. Mm -hmm. There were a lot of questions on DBMS in second round. And with that, uh, there were some questions on uh, my previous internship and work experience. Mm -hmm. And that round was also around like, 60 minutes and the time which I got in DSA was about 30 minutes and uh, again he expected a working group from me and my final round um, that round was with CTO of the company uh, again very supportive interviewer and in that round I was basically asked about a DBMS query based problem and a matrix uh, based question on DSA again that question was like medium level on it could that was not too hard and some basic dsa concepts of time and space complexities hmm. so yeah the total interview process so around medium to hard problems you encountered in the dsa part of the interviews right hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah so i would like to know more about your preparation strategy because you were able to you know go through all of the problems pretty much with ease so how did you prepare for it okay so uh, when i entered in my college hmm. So thanks to my seniors who um, get me familiar with the concepts of competitive programming and uh, participating in contests. So the thing that I did in my college time was that preparing, uh, not preparing, actually giving contests in a very regular mm. duration. Like I still remember I used to give contest in like in every day or two day in code forces and code chef. So that thing particularly helped me a lot. And uh, I never studied any topic differently. Mm. Like I never followed some playlist. The most of the learning which I did was through the problems in contests yeah. only. And uh, yeah, the mostly problems that uh, I solved was of like uh, till graph level only. So mm. that part through which I prepared and for development, I uh, again, I never did development through any playlist or anything. I mostly did development during my internship in mm. Cognic only. And that's what I've seen for mostly machine, for uh, CP guys, you know, I've hardly seen CP guys doing development with a playlist or something. They generally have proper yeah, yeah, work yeah. experience of dev, right? Yeah. Hmm. So that was quite hard for me to cope with internship in initial 15 days as I had no idea about development. But initially, <clears throat> but gradually I learned development and I was in a good position to answer the problems. Hmm. Right. So yeah, that was all about Yes, yes, yes. And just one point to reiterate that you said, you know, when you go through contests, you don't even have to go into competitive programming in that depth. You can even do contests on lead code. 
but once you start giving contests yeah. you don't have to study anything extra you can just upsolving and if you continue upsolving you'll get to know a lot of things and you'll become a master of problem solving just by doing that right yeah yeah that that's what exactly what i did like i always try to do one more problem which i wasn't able to do in contest and generally i have seen that those problem involved 90% of time different concepts which i don't basically uh, know so yeah that was the thing through which i learned a lot hmm, right 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 so man for all of the people who are watching this video this podcast who also want to get a good high paying internship in a product based company what advice would you give to them so the basic advice that i would give to them is to focus more on more on problem solving hmm. rather than rote learning anything yeah. and be honest with what you are doing um the major thing that i'm seeing in even in competitive programming is that uh, people do cheat and increase their rating hmm. so the best advice that i would like to give is to don't lie in your resume that's the most important thing because even my interviews were uh, aligned in such a way that how i presented myself hmm. in my resume right like i presented that i am good at competitive programming mostly that's why i think they must have gone to this depth so yeah this is the Mm, biggest advice that i would like to give that don't lie in resume hmm. exactly and you know like you mentioned uh, agar aap cheating karke expert ban bhi jate ho then most probably your entire interview will be on problem solving and then pakde jaoge aap kyunki actually mein aata nahi hai problem solving exactly to fayda nahi hone wala hai usse hai na you should only do it or you should only you know focus on computer programming or rating when you are the one doing it not if you are cheating or taking code from anywhere else so now it will just be a exactly bad, exactly. bad thing or new okay so i guess that pretty much covers everything about ind money's internship into experience and you know your journey to packing it so thanks a lot ryan for coming on my channel and sharing your journey i hope you help a lot of students thank you thank you sir